I'm Joel from the Amity Affliction. I'm Aaron from the same band. He and just said. Most pit of standing at the back. Uh, standing at the back because I've got anxiety problems. <laughs> hey, it's Aaron from the Amity Affliction. Uh, you're watching Cribs, the filthy bus episode. Toronto in the rain on walk tour in America See, was yeah, amazing. That was great. It was like pissing down rain and all the kids were going mental still. We were just like, yes, we've never played Toronto before. This is amazing. And yeah, we all came off huge smiles on our faces. Christmas kind of sucks though, if you ask me. Yeah, I dread Christmas. It's a bit annoying. Kurt Cobain or John Lennon? Kurt Cobain. John Lennon was a bit of a pussy. Oh, here's Landon just waking up. Hi, Landon. And uh, this is a filthy bunk. Another filthy bunk. If you look to your, to your right down here, filthy bunks everywhere. Smells like a thousand disgusting dudes' dicks. There's been a few shows where girls have got their boobs out and we're like, oh, this is weird. That doesn't happen for us, does it? <laughs> but there would have been like three different chicks flashing us. I thought that was pretty wild. Oh, I've never really been on dates, yeah. Never been on a date in my life. Merchandise or streetwear? I don't know. <laughs> Much. Uh, I'm sure there's been a lot of wanking going on in here, probably there and there and there. Uh, the crinkling of bottles at your feet. Been jockeying for that title. Yeah. I did I shit know. myself on the street. He shit himself in Hindley Street yeah. in Adelaide. I don't know if that makes me the biggest party animal or the biggest <laughs> loser. Yeah, it's a borderline. It's a I very fine line. I think I'm a loser for that. Yeah, I think you're a legend. <laughs> yeah, that. so who knows? <laughs> Equal. Yeah. But he's outlasted me, so maybe he wins. Falling through a window <laughs> naked. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, we played a show in, where was it? Uh, Loxton. Loxton in Adelaide. Yeah. So just outside Adelaide. Yeah. Me and my old drummer, or our old drummer, Trolls, we were, I was naked, and then I guess I tried just, to fight him. Nah, he just something. got, he got pissed off at you because you were burning him and you were naked. And I was burning so him was naked. Like <laughs> twice as funny. And then I guess he tackled me or something and we went through yeah, a all glass three of us. window. Just straight back and through it. Yeah, I didn't get cut at all. We never you got played. cut. Yeah, I got cut. My yeah. ass. It, one of them you, went you right in my bum. You cut your ass, and yeah. I was scot free. Yeah. I got put clothes back on after that. Probably went to bed. No, we kept drinking for a little Did bit. We? Yeah, we went down to the bonfire. I would have been blackout. I'm not a snitch, so fuck that. Dexter or Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad, because Dexter's got like fucking three active serial killers that all know each other right now. It's fucking stupid. Some tinnia over here. Some more bus wankers in there. Uh, and here's the staircase. It's really, well, that's, that's a nice big bunk. Uh, some lucky boy got that one. Some more filthy bunks there. And yeah, so 24 total filthy bunks. And it smells amazing on here. I've slept in a bin in Melbourne. It was like a wheelie bin. <laughs> I pulled into the alley because I was like on the verge of tears because I'd lost everyone. Had no idea, like I, this was the first time I've ever been in Melbourne, so I didn't know anywhere where anything was. I had no phone, wallet, anything. And I had a vague recollection of like where my surroundings at the train station where we were staying. But I was too drunk to figure that out at the time. So I slept in a bin in an alleyway in like the Melbourne CBD, woke up like, I don't know, six or something and just like wandered in the streets just thinking, what am I gonna do? Because I, <laughs> I didn't wanna go to the police station because I hate cops. So I just got on the train and just like rode it until I recognized something and then found like, oh, I recognized that McDonald's and got off and walked around for about six hours until I finally found the house I was staying. Throwdown, but not American Throwdown. There was a band from Cronulla called Throwdown. And I went, that was my first show. It was wild, lost a shoe, got pissed off one beer. It was great. <laughs> I was at uh, Mill and Cullen in like 2001, I think. Jim Beam or Jack Daniels? Oof, neither, Jameson. And here's where the magic happens. Fridge. With some molding, festering. Food. I think that's been in there from the start of the tour. I don't know whose it is. 
some non-alcoholic beer for me, because I'm a lucky boy with a fucked liver. Ryan's sick in the eye versus your alcohol-induced seizure. I got bitten by a white-tailed spider and it like sucked all the tissue out of my arm and I went into a coma. And... In his sleep, so we were staying at our friend's place in Bondi Street. Um, at the break-even house. Break-even house, and he was like, ah, my hand hurts. Like, three days later, he's like, fucking shivering <laughs> in the van. Going. We're like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? But um, I had to sing the whole set, scream and sing without a bass. So it was the best. So we could get our guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> and I blew my voice out after like two songs because yeah. I don't know how to scream. And uh, yeah, and the we doctor took Joel said, to the hospital. He was there for fucking, what, two weeks? Yeah. And then they were giving you like the wrong medication or something. Uh, almost I got, died. I got, got pneumonia, almost yeah. died. They thought I had bird flu. Then they didn't think I had bird flu. Then they thought I had it again. So they had no idea what he was so going So I kept on. getting moved around. Then they wanted to chop my hand off. So it was a bit of a saga. I don't, I don't have a guilty pleasure. They're all pleasures. Yeah. I don't know, I got some funny shit on there though. Iggy Azalea. That's funny, yeah. <laughs> Puppies or kittens? Puppies, dogs are just better. I've got both, but dogs are way better than cats. <laughs> uh, there's a sink. Sometimes there's water in it. If the bus driver fills it up, yep. Here's a hey. new bathroom, <laughs> Joel. Yeah. Didn't take a shit because you're not allowed to shit on the bus. Everybody knows that. I don't know. There are a lot of crazy uh, shows. Dudes, where... crowds having wheelchairs. Yeah, that was That's wild. That was, times that was now. at the Sebi and um, somewhere else. Yeah, and then he got on stage and yeah. sat there for a couple songs. If he know, have... if he fell out of his wheelchair, he's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Guts, I think that takes. But everyone, I think, would be all like, oh shit. They were shaking at one point, <laughs> his wheel kept dipping in. He can't fall out of this. It's like riding a fucking bucking bull. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Skateboard or BMX? Skateboard. BMX is it's tricky, clever. <laughs> Except for fishy. Uh, here is the seating arrangements. Lots of seats. Yeah, many times. Remember in America when um, they, they pulled us up because we had like beer cans everywhere and I was just like yes. mouthing off and at Helmet them. and Helmet told the cop that we were all vegetarian. Yeah, I was like, fuck you. And well, I'm not saying that, but like being rude to the cop and Helmet was like, no, it's all right. Like we're all vegetarians. Like that makes yeah, it like okay. That. The guy's like, I don't care what you eat. Yeah. We're yeah. in fucking Oregon or something. Yeah. Or Ohio maybe. Somewhere. I don't know, he somewhere was pissed shit. off, but we didn't yeah. care. It was funny. I was laughing. Jed was laughing. Aaron and Helmet were like pissed. We've been pretty good with cops though. Like whenever we get pulled over, they just like even Jed that time. He's just like, I've only got my Australian license. They're yeah. like, oh, it's all right. Got what any are you guns? doing? Just wanted like, to chat. Yeah. You know? Got any guns? Nah. All right, you're good. Just these BB guns and paintball guns. Yeah. And all that weed and yeah, coke <laughs> over there. <laughs> We don't usually dare anything, we just do it. <laughs> We're just dickheads. Call of Duty or Battlefield? I've got no idea how to play either of those games, but I've heard more about Call of Duty, so there you go. <laughs> and that is about it. Driver's in there. And here's our sound system that we rigged up because the, uh, yeah, it's, it's been broken. By the driver. Uh, a D and M. Deep and meaningful. Yeah, the first time I was like, what do you mean you want to take a ship? And I was just, I didn't understand that. And then the other one was, hi mate, you want a root? What scares me? Snakes. Uh, snakes scare the shit out of me. Dying. Dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's death, yeah. I think I'm more scared of snakes than death. But why are you scared of snakes? Because you'll die? Kill me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's all Nike. Converse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really wear Nike. Oh, I only wear cons, that's it. PS2. We've got these in museums now, I think. But, uh, I brought my PS4 to hook up, but apparently this bus was made in the early 1700s. Um, and that's all I can think of on the top of my head, to be honest. Dirt or tank? Shirt. Plain shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. That's about it. So that's all from me. 
That was our, that's our crib. Peace.